Hello again, friends and well wishes. This is Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive. Uh, a title I really say out of sheer compulsion uh, these days. Uh, bringing you another update for Tidy Tile Mapper. Uh, today, another form of controller. You may remember the last time we were looking at platform controllers uh, using character controllers, gravity, and all sorts of things. Uh, today, we're going to look at pathing controllers and uh, all great things as usual begin by pressing play in unity here we go uh, I've got a little bit fancy with my demo today I usually wouldn't do that but I had a few free minutes so I've made a little uh, little viewport down the bottom right there so you can see from deer perspective uh, what he's doing I like it. it's got a, got a bit of a Pac-Man-y sort of Super Bomberman vibe going on uh, much like last time we've got uh, some gizmos on the screen to show you what's happening uh, this is a maze generated by Tidy Maze Maker which is a, a plugin for Tidy Tom you can get on the Unity Asset Store if you're so inclined um, on and off uh, and aside man uh, this maze generation algorithm is a little bit trickier than I anticipated um, even when copying that from pseudocodes, that's that's something. Um, anyway, uh, what we've got here are our deers. Oh, we love the deer. And uh, they're going to be searching uh, in a five-block radius of themselves uh, for an empty tile. And once they find that, they will path to it using the inbuilt A-star pathing uh, algorithm. Um, often this will take them on a, on a wild, wild adventure. Um, because five tiles away as the crow flies is not necessarily five tiles away uh, walking wise. So what we can see here are green gizmos are this tile is currently reserved for me and blue gizmos are I'm currently pathing to this location. So you can see uh, that they overlap a little bit with their paths um, but they will repath if they come uh, head to head. Um, that's really uh, all there is to this one. This uses uh, linear interpolation between the blocks uh, no physics, no character controllers, or anything like that. Um, for a few reasons, one, you don't really need them, and two, it uh, keeps it light. Because my understanding is that um, character controllers can have quite substantial performance impact, particularly on mobile. Um, so yeah, as usual, I, I sort of love watching these things go about their business. It works uh, pretty dang well. So uh, in the future, you'll be seeing. Uh, maybe one or two more controllers from me. The next one will be a simple, uh, what I'm calling, patrolling uh, controller, where they will go back and forth just uh, on one axis, be it up or, or down, uh, left or right, etc. Um, back and forth, kind of like a uh, moving platform or your normal sort of Super Mario Brother looking uh, entities. And I think that will really do us for, for an initial release of controllers. That'll be three controllers, a character controller, and uh, all things like that. I'm going to put out an animated character too so you can get straight to painting without having to worry about it and I have a very funny funny character in store for you so I think you'll enjoy that. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you're all having a good productive week respectively. This has been Joshua McGraw from Doppler Interactive bringing you another development update uh, on a uh, moderately uh, temperate Thursday evening. Uh, take care.